Um, look, man, Hazard is one of the best players in the world. I'm sorry, this guy's ability is too good, and I think people cannot deny how incredibly good this guy is because technically this guy's football just keeps on raising and raising and raising. And if Chelsea continue to F up and are completely disorganized, there is no reason why this guy has a should stay because just looking at us, how confident and how arrogant his football is, what he's doing, how he's influencing, because this guy is like a one-man army. Because Chelsea, yes, they won the, the game so much. It wasn't really that convincing. The scholar may say convincing. But I still think there's still issues within the team because West Brom are crap. Okay, like that's, because that's why, that's why they're so far down in, in the table. And those chances fall to Messi, the Cannibal, Iniesta. I, th- I, th- I think it's a different scoreline. But you, you, you look at um, Hazard, man. I just think that like, this guy's full, full football. The passes he finds, his playmaking because he's creating, he's passing, he's getting the team going, he's getting the, the team ticking, and he's scoring. So this guy puts in two, two Gs, is assisting so much, is creating so much that he, what he does offensively is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Just, the amount and look, look at it like he's, he's he's never bothered, he's never like he's never really annoyed, he never shrugs, he never shows his annoyance. He just gets on with it because you could just say this guy just enjoys his football, and I think he actually enjoys and actually embraces the how tough it is for for, for him. So, um, Giro. Giro is useful. And you saw how he's used in this game because of how he can link play, how he can hold the ball up, and just how he can, you know, just gen- generate Chelsea whenever they attack. This can't be your main striker. He's an option. A very good option to have, but he's an option. But Chelsea surely cannot go into the New Cup or a game against Barcelona with Giro starting. I mean, that's just ridiculous because Giro just, he's not a top tier striker. He ain't. He's not a top tier striker. He is, and he, for, Chelsea to try and be Chelsea, I want to be one of the, 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 the top teams in Europe. You you can't be rolling with Giroud because as you saw there, yes, he can be of use. But as far as creating his own shots, dribbling past players, and and pretty much being much more decisive and incisive with the balls played to him, it can't work. Cahill is crap. And Christensen is a young defender who is still great, but I still think that you saw him make a few mistakes. He has to start because I still feel like if Christensen's mistakes are less than Cahill, and I think he's just a better defender overall than that than, than what Cahill is. So look, man, overall, man, um, Moses, I'm very happy that, that Moses scored. Although I still think Moses should, should be given much more of an offensive and an, an attacking role in the team. But overall, I still th- there are still issues within the, the, the team. They don't look um, f- they, they, they don't look watertight. They don't look structured. They don't look at ease, and Hazard is still having to do too much. You take Hazard out of this team, they're tenth. They're a mid-table team without without Hazard. That's just how much, how important Hazard is to to these boys. Um, but it it, it 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 win is a win, and um, I still fear for them. I still, based on this performance and what's happened to Watford, I still fear for Chelsea against Barcelona because man, if Barcelona decide. Against these guys, that's where West Brom were having chances. West Brom were playing a high line. West Brom were really giving them issues. It could it could get ugly against Barcelona. It could get very, very ugly.